Thanks. Chris Beck is a name you may recognize. He's a highly decorated Navy SEAL. A decade ago, he became famous because he announced he was transitioning, becoming a woman, calling himself Kristen Beck. CNN made a film about him. And in that film, Chris Beck, at the time identifying as a woman, he admitted that he wasn't sure what the term transgender meant. Watch. It's hard to explain. People ask me about that. They say, I don't really understand transgender. And, you know, can you explain it to me? And the only thing I can tell them is I don't, I don't really know what transgender is either. You know, I don't know. I mean, I know what it is. I, it's this. But I don't know, like, where it comes from or why. So Chris Beck has had 10 years to think about this. And he looks back and believes and has said that the whole process of transitioning, quote, destroyed his life. In an interview with Robbie Starbuck, Beck said this, quote, everything that happened to me for the last 10 years destroyed my life. I destroyed my life. I'm not a victim. I did this to myself, but I had help. Chris Beck joins us now. Chris, thanks so much for coming on. Um, it, it's a poignant story and deserves, I think, a much longer treatment than we're about to give it. But when you say you had help, what did you mean by that? Well, the transgender originally started out as something, you know, pretty basic and very rare. And now it's kind of morphed into an ideology. And that's what I'm kind yes. of speaking out about. Speaking about the ideology, I'm not talking about the people. Now, there's a lot yes. of transgender people, great folks, but the ideology is what I'm talking about. It's, it's becoming something where it's being pushed in schools and young teenagers are having surgeries because they're saying they're transgender. It's an affirmation. Once a teenager walks into an office, even if the parents are saying no, that doctor can override that. And that's a problem. So then you also just to say the ideology and what's going on to prove it is like what's happening to me. As soon as I started speaking out and saying that I think these teenagers need more time, they also need to reclassify transgender is gender dysphoria. It used to be in the, you know, the psychologist manual for you know mental health issues. Now they've gotten rid of that. And now as soon as somebody goes in there and says anything even close to transgender, you're basically labeled transgender and you start pushing your surgery. That's what I'm trying to stop. There's a lot of yes. great people out there who are transgender and not transgender, everything. What I'm talking about when I talk about CNN is that they take sound bites, they take something, and they talk about it one-sided. They talk about all the pros of transgender. Now I'm on Fox, didn't want to do this. But now on Fox, I don't want it to happen the opposite way. What we need right. to do is take the policy out of this. We want to take the emotions out of this. And let's look at it as a medical team. Let's look at it through a lot of different scope. I don't want this to be political. And I don't want transgender people to be harmed. But if you're doing this to kids, that's wrong. I have a Navy SEAL friend of mine, a very good friend of mine. He has a daughter. The daughter was a tomboy. You could see it. She was a happy tomboy. She had double mastectomy at 16 years old. A Navy SEAL friend of mine. Now this person is 20, I think. And I, who knows what's going to happen. But they also start doing them on hormone blockers and all kinds of other hormone things, puberty blockers, everything else. It sterilizes these kids. So we're going to have all these children in five or 10 years who are being told one side of this story. And they're going, well, that's me. Because they're not being told stories like mine. They're not being told, told stories like so many other people who have beat transitions. They hide the fact that I even exist. They also say that I hate transgender people. I don't hate transgender people. There's a lot of my friends. What I care about is people. I want people to slow down. I want these doctors to see what they're doing. In psychology, take a look at gender dysphoria, take a look at autogonophilia, take a look at body dysmorphic uh, disorder. <clears throat> There's a myriad of things you can look at, oh, sorry, <clears throat> that we really have to start taking a look at. So what I'm telling is the medical industry and parents, y'all need to wake up. Y'all need to know that there's a lot of information out there that's being hidden. And I want you to search for that information. If you're a teenager, look at the stories. Like Chloe Cole, she's 18 or 19 now, but I think she had a double mastectomy at like 14 or 15 years old. Look up that name, Chloe Cole. She's out here speaking about it because she's an adult now. So yes. if she's getting all this done as a teenager, where does that put the medical industry? She was not a consenting adult, and she got life-altering surgery. She got basically, you know, castrated as a teenager with all these drugs and all the stuff they're giving them. Why? All I'm speaking out about is that. I want people to take a look at both sides. I want you to see the CNN side, and I want you to see the Fox side. Right now, this is not political. I don't want to be political. I don't want to be emotional. I don't want this to turn into something bigger than it is. This right. should not be news. 
if doctors would be honest and give the entire story, then I wouldn't even be on here right now. I would have gone about my life quietly. I would have been on my farm. You never would have heard from me. Tucker, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to be on here. But yeah. we have to be here because nobody is standing up for these kids. Now, if there's a bunch of kids that are transgender and they grow up and they'd be happy and they're 80 years old and they're still happy, you know, that's great. But there's a lot of kids that are getting caught up in this huge tidal wave of popular transgender culture, popular transgender ideology, and that is wrong. That's what I'm talking about. What you've just expressed is the opposite of hate. It's measured and thoughtful and humane and born of your own experience and clearly motivated by good faith. And I hope it's seen by everyone because it's not political. You're absolutely right. Chris Beck, I appreciate you're thinking that through and sharing with us what you've learned and what you hope for the country. Thank you. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.